I think what holds it together is the conversations that you and your cousins and your aunts have after watching the show. And everybody loves to do that and talk about what they saw and what they'd like and what they didn't like. And that's been going on for 50 years on our show, 49 years right now, and 35 years from the very first episode, John McCook was on there and, uh, and everybody's been talking about him for 35 years. gentlemen thank you so much for speaking with pop culture today how are you hey brenda how are you thanks for I'm having amazing me. i'm so excited to speak to you <laughs> good i'm glad i'm glad to talk to you too good morning so congratulations on your nominations for best lead actor in the soap now is an icebreaker and to have some fun this morning out of the two of you who's taking home the prize uh i am gonna win this year and peter knows it yeah. I, I i if i'm gonna lose to somebody i want to lose to john mccook yeah. So there you go. Well, that's fun. So you guys have been in the business for so long. Congratulations on all of your success. John, you for 35 years on Bold and the Beautiful. Peter, you for 33 years on Young and the Restless. I used to watch those shows with, with my cousins and my aunts. And you guys are still standing. So despite the competition in daytime television, with talk shows, game shows, and obviously the rise of other genres like reality television, what do you guys think makes soap operas continue to dominate and stand the test of time? Well, uh, I think I think what holds it together is the conversations that you and your cousins and your aunts have after watching the show. And everybody loves to do that and talk about what they saw and what they'd like and what they didn't like. And that's been going on for 50 years on our show, 49 years right now, and 35 years from the very first episode, John McCook was on there and uh, and everybody's been talking about him for 35 years. Yeah, that's how it stays in the air. And it is the fun that people get to gossip about these characters and, and be angry with them or be happy for them. And uh, it goes back to it goes back to 15 minute radio shows before television was even existed. And then and then the shows in New York and all of it. And and uh, the blessing for us is that CBS as a network has uh, had the respect for daytime to keep both of our shows on the air and uh and and investing in us and keeping us there and for us to and for them to put the emmys on uh this this year and to put us back on after after the uh after the years we've been off the air is really nice it means a lot to all of us what really goes into making a daytime soap because from what i've heard it is probably like the most difficult acting job scripts can change like lines and dialogue can change basically daily so can you guys give us a bit of your process um what what methods do you use to prepare and things of that nature i think everyone on all these shows has a slightly different method my method is is to if if i'm pulling into the parking lot there's a balcony out there if i'm pulling into the parking lot and somebody shouts peter we're up to you right now get in here i'm ready to go i'm, I'm ready to go i'm prepared um, I work with people who literally read the script for the first time that morning and then come out and do great work. Um, everybody is, is slightly different and we all have to respect how each other works, but, uh, but you're right. It is, it is more difficult work than most people understand. And actually, it's, it's interesting that, that people think that it's the, it's the hardest job in show business. It's, it's not the hardest job, but it is different. And uh, a good actor who's a good actor on stage or a good actor in the movies would be a good actor in daytime. It's just you have to get used to doing it and you have to uh, understand how we're going to do it today. And uh, it is different. And you're right. There's not a lot of preparation. Sometimes you walk in and say, you're in, you're in 15 minutes and you haven't been made up yet. You don't have your wardrobe on. And, and uh, in my case, I uh, sometimes... I haven't uh, prepared as well as Peter does. And, and I just go, holy cow, you know, I got to get it going. And uh, it, it's, it's, one, it's wonderful to get the nerves going every day. It's great. It's really cool. Now, your characters are obviously drama filled. So can you guys tease what um, any major plot twist coming up in your characters, whatever you can give the fans to look forward to without giving too much information? 
Well, I can't give too much away because I don't know very much. I do know that uh, I do know that Eric and Quinn have uh, turned the page on what they've had over the last few years, and Eric is moving on uh, with Donna, uh, uh, Donna Logan. That's all I know. Uh, how far? Uh, how long are they going to be together? How successful? I don't know. Is she going to move in with me? I hope so, but I don't know. So there you are. Yeah, uh, for, for me, uh, uh, Diane Susan Walters is back on the show. Uh, it's it's uh, created all kinds of problems for just about everybody in town. Uh, and uh, and happily, John and I are both, you know, the heads of a family. And and uh, and as a head of the family, uh, everyone in the family has their own storylines and it somehow affects us. Um, so so uh, we're, we're very grateful for that. And overall, what's your favorite part about working on a daytime soap? Uh, I, I like the consistency. I like that I'm getting to go to the same dressing room for the last 35 years. I, I like that it's comfortable there and that I, uh, I have enough room for people to come in and sit and rehearse so we can, we can, we can rehearse in my room. Uh, it's, it's big enough for five or six people in a scene. And uh, it's comfortable, and all my stuff is around. So I, I feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm going to work. I feel like I'm going from this home to that one and then coming back here. So that's what I love about it. I would say my favorite part is, is, is getting to do truly dramatic work, a complex, interesting story uh, 33 years after I first got here. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that I've gotten to do it time and again. Uh, that they continue to uh, to trust me and and lean on me and uh, and that's a neat, that's a that's a nice thing as an actor. And they continue to nominate you too for all that work. So you know this is why he has so many nominations is because he's so good at it. Not just because he's had a good story, but because he's able to execute in a really accomplished way. So that's pretty cool. That's a great a great. Thanks, John. It's always fun to watch the evolution of characters on soap operas and the many marriages and deaths and reincarnations of these characters. So well done. And I look forward to seeing who takes home the grand prize tomorrow. Congratulations again.